in this demonstration, I'm going to show how to make an endoscore staining. So I have a smear of Bacillus cereus, and for doing this endoscore staining, you add into your glass, like with the smear, a paper towel that you cut to the size of the slide. You put it here on the top of this beaker with boiling water, and the papers will go into the bottom of the glass slide. So you will be covering your glass slide with the paper towels with malachite green, which is the stain that stains the spores in bacteria that produces endospores. So this is going to be a staining that you will have to wait a little bit. So you will add this dye into the top until you have it all plotted and then you will wait for five minutes. And as you see, as this dye is drying from the paper towels, you keep adding more as is needed. Now the endospores are dormant forms of bacteria that the bacteria uses to survive in a way when they are in harsh conditions like low water, low nutrients, uh, radiation, high temperature. And this is, uh, something that they release the bacteria when they're dying. And the process of forming endospores is known as sporulation. And when this happens, you duplicate the DNA of the bacteria, and then you form a septum between the new copy of the DNA of the bacteria and the old copy of DNA. And then this DNA, you form a double layer around this endospore, or around the DNA, into what we call the four spore. And then you will keep it there until the bacteria, it definitely runs out of nutrients, and then it releases it into the environment. So this Bacillus cereus bacteria that we use today to make this smear, it had been starved like for a week or so, so this is a type of strain that will release these endospores or will have a lot of endospores for being starved for a week. And the purpose of putting vapor on the bottom of the glass slide is to open the walls of the endospore so that the malachite green, which is the primary stain for endospore, will penetrate and stain the internal part of this endospore and once you do that you take away this paper from the top of your glass slide it's for five minutes that you will be having it in here in this tray and then you will put it in here rinse and add your safranin which is the canner stain that is going to stain the cytoplasm of the cells that uh, are having this vegetative form. So your endospore stain then will stain the endospores with green color and that vegetative form with red color for safran. Water in here doesn't have to be boiling. It just will be releasing the, the vapor little by little. Well, that's another thing. Sometimes you see uh, in, in some labs where they keep the water boiling, but that's much heat. And as well, when you're adding this dye, you have to be careful to not uh, put it into the beaker or your hot plate because it's going to stain or everything and this is one of the stains that is hard to get rid of. So I think uh, this is enough since this is a demonstration, it's almost five minutes. So we will withdraw this, put it into here and then take this grid which is not hot to the area where you go to the next step which is rinsing and then adding the counter stain. So still I have it in the grid. And I carefully going to grab it with the tweezers. 
closer, then put the... Then grab it with the both pin. Check out the excess of this dye, Malachi Green. Rinse as much as possible. And then add saffronin for one minute of the excess of water as well because you want to have as much saffronin into the glass slide without so much dilution from the water from the rinse. More or less a minute has passed by, so I'm going to do the final rinse. And then let it air dry like this. And then you watch it for, well, until it's dry, and then you watch it at 10, 40, and 100 times magnification with the objective lens. Bye bye.